Blaskowitz, Uber Commander Victor Kruger has established his mobile command inside an abandoned charcoal grill restaurant, a couple of blocks from your location. He's attempting to reactivate the underwater mines around New Orleans. You gotta stop him. Grace out. So, welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. I see a big kitty coming. Let's hide here. All right, gotta be careful. They might see me when I bump into a car and then it moves 10 feet. So we're doing this district mission in the ghetto district of New Orleans. And then right after that, I'm gonna go speak with Wyatt and we'll continue the main mission. So, real quick, district mission. At least I hope it's quick. I've been liking this combination of shotgun and rifle. Rifle in that hand, shotgun in the other. Although, for you... And also for the kitty... Oh my god, look at that body. I think that body or whatever that was literally just flew over the wall. How many shots do you take, kitty? Oh god! Oh my god, those explosions, wow. Okay, maybe let's try like this. Nope, 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 don't burn me. Kitty, please. Please, kitty. Please. Okay. Oh. Wow. Those, ooh. Those things are hard to take out unless you can get a really good viewpoint on their weak spot in the back, which is very difficult unless you're, like, above them. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should have done that, huh? That would have helped. Alright, I remember this basement place. I remember there was a heavy that got, like, sort of stuck somewhere. Down here, I think, and I had trouble finding him. Uh, where does this go? Oh, I'm taking damage. Why am I... Why is my health still going down? I thought the uh, health depletion only happened when you were taking damage. But I stopped taking damage, right? Eh, whatever. I guess the constrictor harness really, really constricts. Ah. Ah. One of those. Shit. Hmm. I don't think I really have the stuff to take it out. I'm not exactly swimming in ammunition right now. Might have to just avoid it. Unless there's like a fully charged up laser gun around here, which I really doubt. Oh. Picked up a gold something or other. Gold kitty. Panzerhund. Ah, look at that lighting. So nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't need to fight that thing. I really shouldn't. Let's... It might spot me, but let's sneak. Get past that huge thing and get that commander. I think we'll be okay. I think that might be in the top of this thing. that's not the commander commander not the uber commander all right let's go back to this for now um actually for these enemies let's do the diesel thing Grenades! Oh god. This... yeah, so that was where I went before when I was playing this level normally. Now I don't know where to go. Yeah, that works. Ah, here we go. We we'll probably go up the stairs. I have no idea where this leads. Oh, right. I remember that. Broken stairs. I don't remember where this goes, though. Oh. God, I love watching him explode. So satisfying. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Shit. another robot. I just need to go to the other side, down here. Oh, I accidentally shot. That was me. That was entirely myself. Um, I guess I just need to go to the other side on the ground.
It's very odd going back to these levels that I've already played, because a lot of it's familiar, but they do change things up. You know, the, the flow of where you're supposed to go, where you start and where you end up to progress is kind of different, which throws me off. So do I still need to, like, activate the power for the lift? Or is that not a thing anymore? Yeah, that's not a thing anymore. Okay. Oh, this can be blown up. Probably go out this way. Yes? Maybe? Probably. This looks brand new. The commander hasn't been activated from all that. There we go. I might as well do that while I can just go back here and refuel, huh? Holy crap. Okay, what if I just run? Oof. There's the commander, though. There's the commander. All right, Blazkowicz. Let's keep this revolution going. Grace out. Okay, I'm safe. I'm safe here, right? Kitty's just hanging out right there. Oh, oh. I do want to keep exploring this place because I'm sure there's probably an upgrade kit or a toy for Max or something. Right. Right. Weak point on the back. I just need to get some distance. I got plenty of ammo for the assault rifles, which will be excellent if I can get to the weak point. Oh shit! Okay. This is a choice. I don't know if the cat can get me here. I think it I think it can. Those uh, electrically charged grenade things are very handy.
here's a toy for Max. Alright, I think that's it for this place. Alright, let's go see to Wyatt and end this level. The little guy died this morning. He didn't eat his cheese. Starved to death. So it goes. Wyatt. Hmm? You. I'm talking to you, Wyatt. Oh, the kid. Yeah, he's not here anymore. He went looking for the truth, but he didn't like what he found. Look, uh, you're talking crazy, man. You gotta get with the program. We need you. We're moving out. Come on, Wyatt. Our kid's father had his future all staked out for him. Ivy League straight to the top of congressional power. Cut him off when he joined the military. Ungrateful brat, he called. Kid's mother fell into a depression in that big dark house. Same day the kid shipped off for Europe, she swallowed a bottle of pills. And that was it. How was that? I'm gonna take you to Sen. He's gonna fix you right up. You're, you're just a little confused, is all. Come on now. No, 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 why? Buddy, remember? He saw perfect patterns. Swallowing branches of a great tree. The all-knowing space entity at the center gazing upon him. Uh, uh, the kid is approaching the apex of the universe. Uh, but it all slipped away. <laughs> and a colossal black trench opened up, swallowing the colors, and the kid couldn't see anything except for a trans-dimensional gaping maw swallowing his soul. Oh, nothing matters anymore, man. Oh, sunset for humanity. <laughs> Tell him that he's sorry. Tell him. Tell him that he loved him. Okay. Oh shit. What's wrong with him? Uh, heavy dosage of psychedelics. Now listen to this. Back in the days of Das Yichid, we used similar substances many times. Never, ever, anyone had the clarity of vision that Wyatt has. It's remarkable. Will he be okay? Well, uh, I'm flushing his system right now. You should be fine. Is this some kind of a doorknob set? No, 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 Jingle. No, what did you say? Wyatt. Don't ever forget who you are, man. Don't forget who we are. Don't forget what we are, soldier. I feel much better now, Cap. Back in my own body. You realize you're still wearing your party hat? I had to, uh... I had to punch you out. I'm sorry. Yeah, I remember that. Needed it, I guess. Doorknob, he says. Hey, Wyatt. Love you, man. My brothers and sisters, check this out. In less than six hours, Frau Engel is gonna make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver Show, live from Hollywood, California. Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're gonna infiltrate the Aus Mercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch, and we take her out. What you got? Frau Grace, I decrypted the Odin codes Herr Bleskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out, it's just one simple word. Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals, and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch, and we are going to take her Grace! out. What? Don't ever call me a Nazi again. 
I am not a Nazi! You do oh. not have the right to label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human! Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! All right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi! And you! I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that you dumb idiot? And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I will just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that, Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No way. Don't be silly. Oh, you coming with us. You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach fast and low. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Earth's Merzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us. And just like that, whoa. And just like that, we are taking over the Alice Mercer. Also, just another check-in on how they're treating Sigrun as a character. They're doing the pretty typical arc of a character who is kind of uh, meek and, I guess, naive at the beginning. You know, they don't really do much, they don't have a lot of confidence, and then they're becoming more confident and seizing their own destiny. And, you know, it's, it's okay. It's just not particularly interesting, but I will say, and this is a very low bar, but... I don't think they've done anything offensive with her, which is good. <laughs> that that's refreshing. That's kind of better than I expected. So yeah, they're doing they're doing all right by Sigrund, I think. Run! Holy crap! Uh. Hold on, William. this William I will follow your lead okay hold on I think we need to get a look at this please don't slide off damn that is a hell of a view look at all those cars down below they're all piled up for some reason I'm not sure why. I guess maybe the explosion and the rockets and everything. I don't think any of that actually hit the ground, but I guess if that was happening above you, you'd probably freak out. Ah, oh, it's so cool that I'm so high up and... I was just eerie. I almost want to drop. <laughs> just to see, like, can I see what the street looks like if I drop? Probably not. Okay. I mean, everybody's going to be on alert, right? There's no reason to be stealthy. Yeah. I don't think so. So, let's go back to Assault Rifle and Shotgun, that combo that I'm really liking. God, just tears through him, huh? We're in. 
There are three different Odin control centers on the Ausmerzer. Two of them controlling the automated defense system. The Hugen control center for the port defenses. The Munin control center for the starboard defenses. Finally, there's the Odin main control center for the ship itself. Understood. How do we get to them? There's a terminal concealed in the floor in the center of the room, which will open the door leading to the Hugen control center. Found it. The other parts of the ship are harder to access from your location. Bring up the ship's schematics in the terminal and see if there's a way to reach them, Anya. William, find a Hogan control center and shut down the port defense system. I'll stay here and try to figure out our way around this ship. Remember we went this way last time we were here, but that's closed off. Is a doggy. I'm sorry, doggy. are offline. Get back here as soon as possible. I think I found a way to reach our other objectives. for wearing an Oculus Rift. William, I need some help here. Hurry, please. I guess I just skipped most of those enemies, didn't I? Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm safe. Alright. Where 
Where's where's Anya? They were right here, right? Before? William, I'm in here. Oh, there's just William, one enemy left. The transport pod. They're on the other side. I've reprogrammed these to take us to the upper parts of the ship. We can reach the other Olean control centers from up there. Wait, sorry, where? Oh, this one. Hold on. I love you, William. I knew something was going to go wrong. He's on top of you! William! I'm up here! Thank God you're okay. Listen, destroy the big fan over there and go through it. Hey. You should be able to find your way out of there through the ventilation system. I'll make my way to the Odin main control center. I just got so close to chopping, like, half of my body off. I got so close that look at what the weapon does. <laughs> That's so disturbing. William, huh. there's another shaft on the other side. You should be able to reach the Munin control center from there. I need you to go there and shut down the starboard defense system. I'll keep making my way to the Odin main control center. Alright, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. By the way, something that I was just reminded of when Anya said, I love you, William. That reminded me of something that I forgot to mention about the whole thing with Wyatt. I liked that Blaskowitz, after getting the gun away from Wyatt, said, I love you. It was really surprising and, and heartening that he said I love you in a platonic way to a friend. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.